fire. I think we're all a little bit of a pyromaniac, or at least fascinated by fire. It, it provides us warmth. It's, it's amazing to look at. We all can spend hours sitting there staring at a campfire or relaxing in front of the fireplace. And it is beautiful when it's tamed, but when it's unleashed and on its own in the natural world, it's one of the most frightening forces that I've ever encountered. Uh, I know I certainly never want to be uphill from a big forest fire because they travel uphill faster than they do downhill. It's the only thing that actually travels faster uphill. And when you're up close to something like that, you're hearing it, you're smelling it, you're feeling the heat against your face, and you know that something as subtle as a change in the direction of the wind could bring that fire straight towards you. So you really have to treat fire with a tremendous amount of respect. And I know that whenever I'm up close to fire, whether it's from a volcano or from a forest fire, any type of blaze, no matter what it is, I always have in the back of my mind, how am I going to get out of here if something goes wrong? If something does go wrong, being burned is one of the, the, the worst possible things. So you really have to put a tremendous amount of respect, the respect that fire deserves. And I never really want to lose that when I'm out there in the field.